Hello, so today I am going to make a banana bread. But a banana bread without the sugar, I am using the natural sugars from the overripe bananas to sweeten this. So let's get into all the ingredients. I am using some coconut flour, baking soda, all-purpose flour, nutmeg, some cherries, some five spice, and I am going to use some margarine and our five overripe bananas i am using some almond extract and some peppermint extract and two eggs so let's get into this banana bread to begin i am going to crush my bananas if you choose to have some little chunks of bananas don't crush finely so i wanted some little pieces of banana but not too big so i am not going to do it smooth so here I have my minced banana, so I am going to add some butter, and I am going to add two eggs, let's just, I'm going to just mix it up a little, I'm going to add that to the mixture. I'm going to just use I'm just using my potato masher. You could use a mixer or you can, I am just using this. I'm going to incorporate all the butter and the eggs to our minced bananas. Click the bell for new things. So now I'm going to add the flour as I said all the measurements would be at the beginning of this video and I'll also put a clip at the side as this video is going along some five spice and some coconut flour that is optional I'm going to use some almond and some peppermint extract half teaspoon each Some baking soda, a half teaspoon also, and we're going to mix this together. Just want to show you. Let's bring everything together nicely. You can smell those extracts, but not too much to overpower the banana because that is what you really want to taste in this, the banana. You could also add some raisins and stuff to this if you like, but I choose not to in this. So my oven have been pre preheated. I'm going to put this in the oven for at least 60 to 65 minutes. So let's get this in a pan. When we finish, we're just going to, we're going to grate some spice, even though we have this ingredient in a five spice. I just like that extra kick of Freshly baked spice, nutmeg. So we just add a smudge amount of that spice, and we're going to mix that in. And then we're going to add this to our pre-buttered bread pan. As I said, my oven has been preheating at 350 degrees. So we want to make sure 
our oven is properly well heated before placing this in the oven and we're going to place this in the oven for 60 to 65 minutes check with a toothpick or a butter knife to make sure that it is cooked before we move it And this is what it looks like so to finish this we're going to add some cherries on the top of it that's optional we're going to just add some cherries along the top of this just to make it look pretty and we're going to place this into the oven exactly 60 minutes later that's one hour i am checking to see if it's cooked and i removed it from the oven and i'm going to show you what it looks like it was cooked through and through there were pieces of banana within the banana bread the sweet sugary taste from that banana was really nice you did not miss the sugar whatsoever because it was really really sweet these bananas were home grown chemical free so all around this banana bread was really healthy and really enjoyable the coconut flour add that extra texture and taste to this the extract and that coconut flour did not take away that nice banana taste. And you can swap the all-purpose flour for something like an almond flour if you so desire. So give this recipe a try. Thanks for watching.